What am I doing? Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. No, I'm not the Economic Ninja, not today. I'm the Real Estate Ninja. You know, I actually have two channels, just so you guys know, a little disclosure. We're gonna talk about some crazy stuff the Fed's about to do, but I have two channels. Why? Because there's so much news coming out about the real estate market and the uh, real estate crash, it's insane. Guys, also, if you bought the real estate crash course, video number three is out. I've got 80% of the videos done and at the editor, it's taking some time for him to get through them. He is at, he is slammed right now. Um, but as he's working through those, the 80% off discount code is below if you want that. If not, no worries. Price goes up after it's all done. Guys, let's talk about the Federal Reserve. It says right here, Fed policymakers call for further rate hikes to beat inflation. Guys, I've been telling you about this forever and I'm saying get ready. The house price of the house of your dreams is going to come to you. The price is going to come down. You will be mind blown when you see the Federal Reserve and what they're going to do with interest rates, which is going to drastically affect mortgage rates and how it's going to beat down the, uh, the price of the home. And more and more sellers are going to uh, capitulate. They're going to get scared. They're going to put houses on the market and you're going to see inventory explode across the country. It says right here, the benchmark rate now sits between four and a quarter percent and four and a half percent. And investors expect the Fed to lift it by a quarter of a percentage point at the next meeting. It says Federal Reserve policymakers on Wednesday signaled that they will push on with more interest rate hikes, with several supporting a top policy rate of at least 5%, even as inflation shows signs of having peaked at economic activity and economic activity is slowing. I've told you guys this before. They are going to go beyond the backbreaking of the American consumer. They want this set in stone, all right? That is going to bring the 10-year bond higher. That is going to bring mortgage rates higher and cost of living higher. So you're going to have so many things affecting the real estate. As a matter of fact, the last course I just did on the, um, on the channel, or sorry, for the real estate crash course, is about the different signs and signals uh, in a real estate cycle, the, the four different phases and how to identify if you're at the top or at the trough. And that was actually a long video, it was like 22, 23 minutes long, but I want people to have this, this core confidence of where they are, regardless of what they see in the news or what they hear their real estate agent talk because they're just getting paid if they sell you something, right? I mean, that's it. They're salesmen, saleswomen. Um, this is going to be huge. Now, here's a quote. I just think we need to keep going and we'll discuss at the meeting how much to do. This is from Cleveland Fed President Loretta Mester said in an inter interview with the Associated Press. The remarks appeared to reflect a wildly shared view among her fellow policymakers, most of whom, as of the December, had penciled in a 5% to 5.25% policy rate in incoming months. Also, another course I did that it's not on the, the, the course yet, but literally talking about and using historical perspective of how the Fed talking heads, the governors, actually tell you the future and how they slowly leak that information of what they're going to do next. Uh, in the press before you see the Federal Reserve Chairman come out and talk about it. So you will know months and months in advance prior to uh, uh, Federal Reserve uh, going uh, hawkish or dovish and then how to plan your real estate purchases or sales. And it is, this is one great example of um, Fed heads, governors, of the Board of Governors going out there and talking and doing these little press conferences. It's like these little murmurs to try and keep the, the market cool. But Jerome Powell said, and he's on record saying it a couple weeks ago, we're going to do some things, Fed policy-wise, that is going to be unpopular. And that is going to break the backbone of the real estate market. You haven't seen anything yet when we're talking about lack of sales. And you're going to see more and more inventory hit the market. Why? Because people are getting laid off. People are literally going to have to sell their homes because they're getting laid off. And it's going to happen all around the country in 2023. That's why I want you prepared. That's why I did the course. But even if you don't need the course, guys, it's so easy to see these signs. And I thank you for hitting the subscribe button. Thank you for hitting the like button because it's so simple to get these, this information out to the masses. Now, it says the, be, the, Fed be, the Fed's benchmark overnight lending rate currently sits in a target range of four and a quarter to four and a half percent. And investors expect the Fed to lift that rate by a quarter of a percentage point at the end of its January 31st. Feb, uh, February 1st meeting. But slowing spending, inflation, and manufacturing, all reported earlier on Wednesday, have helped stoke expectations that the Fed will end its current round of rate hikes sooner than Mester and most of her colleagues expect with the Fed, the policy rate just shy of 5%. Let me explain why that is. See, the federal, the, the official U.S. government numbers, I don't know if you know this, newsflash, they're not 
all that real right. Why? Because they're taking these little tidbits of, of data and then they're showing you the inflation data. But they know the reality that uh, we are looking down the barrel of a much higher food cost and energy costs. And that scares the Fed and they need to stop that. Well, how do they do that? They cause more people to go into unemployment. I know that sounds crazy, but that's literally how it works because then that's less money going into the economy. Now, we're seeing mass layoffs being announced all over the uh, country from the real estate sector like Compass, but we're also seeing Amazon, Microsoft, Google, all these companies laying people off, right? That's gonna add to it, but it's gonna get worse in the next few months. You're gonna see massive, massive uh, stories. I'm gonna be covering them on both the Real Estate Ninja channel, this one, and the Economic Ninja channel because people need to know that. Now, they're gonna be different stories, right? Because I wanna keep these channels sort of separate, and this is a backup channel, but I want people to understand the sheer magnitude of how big this crash is gonna be and what kind of opportunities there are. All right, guys, with that being said, if you guys want to buy the course, I'm gonna put the link to the 80% off pre-filming discount. Once I'm done, it's up, and I don't wanna hear anybody like the last course going, I still, I missed it, I missed it. It's like, yeah, literally you had months to, to plan for that. All right, with that being said, I thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting me. The Economic Ninja is out. <laughs>